Laos commemorates the 56th founding of ASEAN and the 26th anniversary of the Laos accession to ASEAN, delivering a commemorative message to mark the anniversary of the establishment of the 10-member bloc and Laos accession to the group. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Salim Saiko Masit, said the Lao PDR attaches great importance to ASEAN and throughout the past 26 years, Laos has actively and responsibly participated in ASEAN activities, which has brought tangible benefits to the Lao PDR. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Salim Saiko Masid made the comment at a flag hoisting ceremony held on Tuesday at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to commemorate the 56th anniversary of the founding of ASEAN, 8 August 1967 to 8 August 2023, and the 26th anniversary of the Lao PDR's accession to ASEAN, 23 July 1997 to 23 July 2023. <laughs> He said ASEAN has significantly contributed towards peace, stability and prosperity in the region and the world at large as the 10-member regional bloc turns 56. The achievements of ASEAN over the past 56 years have significantly contributed towards peace, stability and prosperity in the region and the world at large. It has been up and down. Most importantly, ASEAN has restored ASEAN's cooperation with external partners has deepened and widened through ASEAN-initiated, ASEAN-led, and ASEAN-centered mechanisms, bringing benefits to both ASEAN and its external partners. Furthermore, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Salim Sai, reiterated that over the last 26 years since its accession to ASEAN, Laos has actively participated in the direction of ASEAN, thereby elevating the role of the country to a new height in the regional and international arena. He said the Lao PDR attaches great importance to ASEAN. Throughout the past 26 years, all line agencies of the Lao PDR have actively and responsibly participated in ASEAN activities and cooperation, which has contributed to ASEAN community building efforts and brought tangible benefits to the Lao PDR. It has also raised the profile of the Lao PDR in the regional and international arena. Lastly, the minister reaffirmed the commitment of the Lao PDR to continue its active participation in the direction of ASEAN towards realizing ASEAN community building in 2025. He expressed appreciation for the assistance, support and cooperation received from all ASEAN member states and dialogue partners as well as external partners which has enabled Laos to fully and effectively fulfill its commitment as a member of ASEAN throughout the past 26 years and deliver tangible benefits to Laos. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Salim Saikomosit, also takes this opportunity to call on all Lao people to contribute in accordance with their respective duties and responsibilities to the preparation for the ASEAN chairmanship and to host ASEAN meetings in the Lao PDR, as well as to welcome delegates and tourists who will visit the Lao PDR in 2024. Next man.